Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we're going to take a look at Baby Yoda uploaded by Marvin Miniatures. First things first is we scroll down and take a look at the designer notes, see if he has any specifications or recommendations. And we do see that he says we shouldn't use any rafts, we should use supports, and we should have an infill of roughly 20%. So once you read all that, we're going to download the files by clicking this blue button up here. And once it's fully downloaded, you should have something similar to this. We're going to double click on files. And we see here we have an OBJ and an STL. We're going to click and hold on the STL and drag it into our slicer. Once the model has finished loading up, we can now start changing the settings. First step is going to be selecting a layer height. I'm going to do a layer height of 0.2 millimeters, which is standard quality. You can go lower if you want, like 0.12 or 0.16, which will give you higher quality, but it will take longer to print. So for this case, I'm going to stay at 0.2 millimeters. Infill was suggested to be 20%. So infill density, we'll go to the infill tab, infill density. We should change it to 20. Mine's already set at 20, so I don't have to do anything. Next is going to be supports. Gentleman did say we need support, so we're going to uh, click on the supports tab right here, enable that. Now I have printed this model a few times before, and I know that supports are very hard to remove, especially in this hand area right here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to change the support density from 20% down to only 10%, meaning there should be less material inside of the actual support walls, aka lower density. Should make it a little easier to remove we're also going to change the support z distance from 0 0.2 to 0 0.26 now if you don't see any of these settings what you have to do is you're going to have to put your mouse over the support click on this gear icon and then just enable whatever settings we were talking about so we should be in the supports tab whenever you click on the gear icon just look down and see uh, where that setting is so support z distance enable that and you should be able to see it now support overhang angle if you're a beginner leave it as it is but if you've done benchmarking on your printer and know what your printer can handle you can change that i know my printer is fine with a 60 degree support uh, overhang angle so i'll change that to that now gentlemen also said there was no rafts needed which is the build plate adhesion you can either do a raft or a brim skirt etc we do not need any of that so by default Kira does use a skirt does recommend a skirt so we'll just leave skirt on make sure you don't have brim or raft enabled because you don't really need it and other than that you're set to go all you have to do now is hit slice and let it process once slicing has finished you should be greeted by a time estimate as well as a filament usage estimate so in our case this should take roughly 8 hours 46 minutes and we'll use up a total of 60 grams of filament now down here in this corner we can also see a size estimate. It looks like we're at 7.6 by 6.7 by 9 centimeters with the dimensions of the actual print itself. Always hit preview to see the preview of uh, the model along with supports. Now take a look around the model by holding right click and dragging your mouse. And you see there's nothing funky going on. Everything looks pretty good and clean. So once you're satisfied all I have to do now is plug in your flash drive and send it over to the printer. Here we see the model straight off the build plate without any removal of supports or post-processing. Now supports aren't too difficult to remove with the settings we use, but can definitely give a beginner a hassle. Be very careful when removing the supports for the right hand. If you're not careful, you will easily break all the fingers off. Here we see the model with all supports removed. The model looks pretty good as it is right now, but can definitely benefit from some post-processing. If you would like to further clean up your model, 
I recommend using 400 to 1500 grit sandpaper and cleaning up some of the areas that need attention. Here we see various close-ups of the model after it has been lightly sanded. As you can see the model has no defects and has magnificent quality. If you take a closer look at the back of the model you should see a vertical line. That's known as the printing seam and that's where the printer switches layers on the Z direction. Generally the seam can be hidden on sharp corners but with a model with this level of curvature it might be a little harder so it will stand out but luckily it was placed on the back of the model.